Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. There's a special group trying to tackle a big issue in our state. Yeah, the shortage of high tech workers like IT and engineers. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Katrina Squirrel joins us now with more details in tonight's top story. Katrina. Rada Megan, the Nebraska Tech Collaborative was formed earlier this year. Today, they said they are not only talking about the tech crisis, they are ready to solve it. University of Nebraska Chancellor Ronnie Green joined officials at the Exarban Foundation Monday afternoon. The news conference was at Innovation Campus, talking about the new initiatives to answer Nebraska's tech talent crisis. The number of new jobs in Nebraska and growth in this area has been totally flat over the years, while every other state around us is growing at double-digit numbers. And the bottom line is we don't have the people to fill the jobs. The foundation is bringing their business leaders from across the state to tackle the state's shortage of high tech workers. Nearly 100 representatives are already a part of the effort. The plan is to work across six areas of emphasis, including talent attraction, K through 12 education, higher education, internships, and opportunities for veterans. We're gonna create our own pipeline. And there are a number of amazing programs that are um, going on here in the state, but everybody is working on those amazing programs and, and aren't able to connect the way they should um, for us to move, to move forward. Officials also spoke about the impact current bills in the legislature would have on this problem. We need programs to attract businesses here. 720 is that type of bill and it, and it has to pass. It was unfortunate it didn't last time. It helps not only in the job chaining, but bringing companies here. Chancellor Ronnie Green says there is significant conversation about job growth. Encouraging students through scholarship support uh, that the legislature is also looking at currently. So high skill, high wage, high demand jobs that this certainly fits in the very core and the nexus of. So we've got, we've got to approach it from every angle. Every single company in Nebraska has some type of technology job. Officials described this shortage as the most critical issue facing the heartland. And if you'd like to keep up to date with the Exarban Foundation as to what they're doing to boost workforce in the state, we have the link on our website. That's klknTV.com. All right, Katrina, thank you for that.